What's up, Wayne Baron here with DarkEffects.net, and we are inside of Edge Reflow, the new product by Adobe. And uh, I forgot to mention this before, but this is free if you are a cloud subscriber. Uh, you can either be a free cloud subscriber to Adobe or a paid, pa uh, paid cloud subscriber. Either way, you can download this program and use it for free. It is in beta, so there is some bugs in it. So uh, make sure that you keep that in mind whenever you use the program. Now, uh, what I want to show you here, I just found out. Uh, this is actually my second day of using this program. And uh, it's pretty early in the morning. It's like 5.30 in the morning. I have not had no sleep yet. So if I get tongue-tied, blame it on no sleep. Okay, what we're going to do is that we're going to come over here to styling okay and the first thing that we're going to do is that we're going to create a we're going to add a box let's just go ahead and draw out our box right here and click right here okay that way we can then move our box around if we uh, for those that have not seen my other videos if you leave uh, the box selected and then you try to move this box you will actually create another box so to get out of that you control back Z, control Z back twice anyway make sure that you always choose choose your selection tool after you create your box that way you can then move it around and do what you need to do with it okay so the next thing we want to do here okay we've got our background now inside of our background we have add image or add gradient and so what we're going to do is that we're going to add an image and then clicking right here will launch our image editor here and so let's come over here and choose our kiss image now looking over here it loads our kiss image into our div now as you can see the image is not the same size as our div the image is actually larger than our div is now our image has properties here you got different properties here so what we're going to do is that we're going to click right here we're going to go down to contain whenever you choose contain the image will then be contained within that div so you will actually be able to move the image to make it smaller or bigger depending on what you're after now as you can see here it is also duplicating itself across and so uh, if you just want one image then you would come over here click on the image and then where it says repeat X and Y you can choose to repeat X and then it's only going to repeat the X which is going this way if you repeat the Y then it's only going to repeat it going down this way which in this case the image is contained within the container so it will never repeat unless we go larger than our container which we can do by doing this so if you go larger than your container then it will duplicate that image going down what if you do not want it to duplicate but instead you want it to do a no repeat and that is what we want to do we want a no repeat and so now we can bring our our div smaller than what it was and then it will automatically contain that image to the size that we want it to be and so that is how you add an image into your div into your site that you create within edge reflow hope that y'all enjoyed this tip this is wayne baron with darkfix.net it is really early and i need to get some sleep y'all have a good one bye bye